Good evening, everyone. In the Kitchen with Chef Carol here. Today, I'm going to be doing uh, salmon with apricot and honey glaze sauce. And I'm going to make corn medley. I'm going to have that for my dinner this evening. So, uh, I'm going to start off with my corn medley because I want my salmon to be nice and warm. Nice and heated up real good when I decide to uh, go ahead and eat tonight. Uh, so let's get started with my corn medley and then I'm going to make my apricot sauce, apricot and honey sauce, and then I'm going to start my uh, salmon. So let me season my salmon up first here and then I'll start my uh, corn medley. So bear with me today. I uh, appreciate you guys and God bless you. Let's get started. Okay, here I have my salmon. Let's get a close up here. I have my salmon. I'm just going to season up. I'm not going to put too much seasonings on today. So, uh, let's go ahead and start with my uh, fish seasoning that I have. Uh, let's sprinkle it with the uh, olive oil. And then I'll go ahead and season it up real good. I'm going to put some of my uh, no salt original seasonings on with that too as well. And I'm going to let that sit and season while I start my uh, while I start my corn medley. I'll get that done first and then I'll make my apricot sauce. I got apricot uh, preserves and I'm going to add some honey, paprika, some uh, lemon and that's going to be my sauce to go over top of my salmon so let's get started now with my uh, corn medley I went ahead and got some corn on the cob, this is sweetened corn on the cob that I'm going to use that uh, that I already cut down off the uh, cob and uh, I'm going to use some fresh corn on the cob <laughs> So let's get started, guys. Okay. Here's my pot I'm going to be using for my uh, corn medley. Okay. I'm going to heat my pan up real good. There we go. Got that on nice and uh, high there. Get this butter melted down. And I'm going to use a half a stick of uh, Land Lake salted butter. So I'm going to turn my heat to medium. So I don't want it to burn. You can see in there, you'll be able to see once I get the uh, corn in there. There you go. I think that's better. Yeah. Okay, we'll get our corn melted down. Just four tablespoons of butter. I have two corn on the cobs here. And this is sweetened corn. Once I get all the butter melted down, then I'll add my corn. Don't need no extra seasoning, flavors, and all. Because I want that fresh sweetened corn taste for my medley here. Okay, so now I will go ahead and going to use my uh, corn that I cut down off the cob and I'm going to just add that to the pan there. I want to take this long at all to cook. that I'm not going to put too much flavor, no more seasoning in because I want the fresh corn uh, taste. Okay, so I'm going to 
Okay, so now I went ahead and cut up some red pepper and green pepper. So I'm just going to go ahead and add to the pan here. I'm just going to use half of that because I don't want to overload my corn. That's half a green pepper and half of a red pepper. If you want to make it spicy, you can go ahead and add some jalapeno. I still have some jalapeno left. I can add some jalapeno in there, but I'm not going to do that today. Thinking about it, I can add it on the top. I can cut it down, put it on my plate if I want that spicy taste to my corn medley. This doesn't take long at all. Corn medley, guys. Okay, so I have that on. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on low and let that cook slowly. So everything can be nice and heated, nice and warm when I go to cook. There's my corn mandy. Easy as one, two, three. I can also add a little bit of pepper. Can just use some pepper and put on there. That'd be it. No garlic, no, no other seasoning. Got that salted butter. So that's going to be good with the sweetened corn. So that'll... That'll have that tasting fine and dandy for me tonight. You can add anything you would like. You can add onion. You can add, like I said, the jalapeno pepper if you want it spicy. You can add cilantro. A lot of things you can just go ahead and add to that. You can put some garlic in there. Whatever you want to add to this dish, you can do that. Okay, so now I'm going to start my marinade for my... Okay, let's get this here, get this opened up, because that's up pretty hard. Put my salmon here. Okay, I have to cut down a lemon, half of a lemon. This lemon isn't looking too good that I have here, so I'm just going to put that aside. Get the seeds out of there. Okay, I'm going to just get that heated up nicely. I think you can see it. Okay, now that I have... I'll do it on the front burner. That way you can watch me make it. Yeah, let's do it that way. I'll do it on the front burner. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going to turn it down. Because you don't want it up too high. It's a medium heat there. Okay, so I'm just going to add two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to melt that down. And I have honey. And I have apricot preserves. And this is going to be my glaze for my salmon. Three easy ingredients. Or with the lemon juice. Okay, let's get that butter melted down. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add my apricot. To no. I think I'll do my lemon first. Let it give it the lemon. Put that butter, my lemon juice. Get that lemon juice in there. A half of a lemon. Squeeze in there. And uh, got a seed in there. Get that out. I don't know why I don't take the seeds out before I start. Okay, so now I got my lemon butter in there. I'll go ahead and add my apricot. I'd say two tablespoons. That should be two tablespoons. In there and just melt that down. Because I don't need much for just for one salmon. I'll make extra. I can preserve it. Okay, get that. Melt it down if you can see. Just stir that around there. Go 
ahead and turn it up some. I don't want it too high. I think a medium high would be good for this here, for me. Okay. Just cook that apricot down in the butter. That apricot preserves, I'm just going to add a little bit more because of the butter. Okay. Good. Just let that cook down. So I'm going to add some paprika. And two tablespoons of paprika here. And just keep it stirred. Keep it stirred real good. Okay. Once that cooked down, I'll go ahead and add my honey. Okay, now I can just go ahead and add a tablespoon of honey. Just a tablespoon. Apricot preserve. This is going to be the glaze for my salmon. Okay, and I have some flake salt with black pepper. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of that in. I'm going to give it a taste. Mmm, delicious guys. Oh my goodness. Oh Lord. That's good. So I'm just going to keep it stirring so it won't burn to the pan there. So I have my apricot glaze. You can see it. It's just a glaze that I'm going to just add on to my salmon. Once that's set, it'll thicken up some, and uh, I can go ahead and add that to my salmon when it's done. Okay, let me get this set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have my apricot and honey glaze done, I'm going to go ahead and start my salmon so I can get my plate fixed up, and... Uh, Enjoy my dinner for today. No starches, because I could have got some small potatoes, small red potatoes, or mixed potatoes. But now, since I'm off the starches, I'm going to just do my corn, and I'm going to just do uh, my salmon. So that's my meal for today. I have some shrimp that I already uh, have already done here that I'm going to eat along with my meal. So that's a pretty good uh, meal for today. If I say so myself. Okay. Let's get my uh, pan on here. Excuse me for it happening to slam, but this in here. Okay, there we go. Put that on medium high. Get that pan heated up have my salmon already seasoned. I think I'll take the bottom off. I like the skin though. Let's take the skin off this time. Just peel that right on off. Comes right on off. Boom. And there you have it. Take that skin off and I'm just going to go ahead and season the other side as well. Waste not, want not. So go ahead and drizzle it with the olive oil. Let's get my pan started with the olive oil. Rub that down. Pat it down. Rub it down. Okay, let's get it seasoned up real good. Nice seasoned salmon.
right, now that my grease is nice and hot, I'm just going to go ahead and add my salmon to that. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and add some lemon juice right on top of that. Squeeze all up in this lemon. Okay, we add some more of this lemon juice to there. Add some more another seed. There's quite more seeds in there. Yep, I'm using my hands. Easier. Okay. I've got my salmon cooking. I'm going to turn that down. Because it's cooking too fast. Turn that down to low medium. There we go. My corn's done. I got my glaze already ready to go on top of there. Okay, so we're going to just let that cook 10 minutes on each side. I don't have a problem with my lemons today. 10 minutes on each side. Just going to give it a flip. Side of it real good. I'm not going to use no uh, jalapeno for my uh, corn. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to just, I just want the fresh taste of corn today. top when I put the uh, glaze on. That's the only salt I had since I started my diet. But it has to go in this dish. Okay. Get that cooked up nice and firm there. Sure, that meat is done on the inside. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit more. That's it. I think I'll add this a tablespoon of butter to that. Put one on each side. And I'm going to use some old bread. Get some old day on there. See that salmon, guys? I think I'll start cleaning. I have my shrimp here. Mm. 
heat up the shrimp. These are large shrimps, but they cook down to cook like medium. Okay. I'm going to get my corn on the plate. That's done. Okay, I think I'll give it another flip here. Ooh, gorgeous. And that's done. Get some of that butter up on top of there. Turn that down some. Let this other side cook slow. I'll go ahead and add my corn to the plate. My corn came out real lovely. Beautiful. Corn medley. Turn that off. Turn my meat off. The salmon is done. So let me plate my salmon here. Oh, I'll have to show you the, gl the uh, glaze once I come back. Let me be back, clean up some of this stuff here, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back now. I have my salmon done. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put my honey glaze right on top of that and I have my honey glazed salmon delicious here's my meal for today guys in the kitchen with Chef Carol God bless you this is a good meal here in the kitchen with Chef Carol Apricot honey glazed salmon with corn medley. That's a meal to be reckoned with, guys. I've made me a sauce. Apricot and honey lemon sauce. With I got my shrimp already. I had already uh, warmed up, cooked up. And I have my corn medley, nice and beautiful here. Homemade corn medley. In the kitchen with Chef Carol. Doesn't get any better than that. God bless you.